let me just say one of the things about Abe's working there that I I hope to be able to tell. It's tough to tell in game form because it's much more into the nuances of story. Um, but the idea Abe was in Abe was you know mopping floors and stuff like that. But he also served as a midwife because the cat the cattle business needed people that could help deliver a difficult birthing. And you don't want to lose the, you know, just look at it from a strictly business perspective. You don't want to lose the the cow that's giving the birth um, and, because, you know, it can give more births, right? I'm just thinking like a glucken. And, uh, but at the same time, if it's having problems, you might lose the one being birthed and the birther. So you, you got to have someone that knows how to fix that problem. And Abe was sort of a midwife that would be pulled in and so he would he would just have this way with animals where um he he could comfort them and he would name them all even though they just had tags and numbers he would name them all and he would develop relationships with them but he never wanted to see the slaughter end of the, of the factory and so he actually loved his job and he lived in a deep denial of what was actually happening so there's like maybe maybe uh, as we go into the future we can show some paintings from uh, Raymond Swan that had done that we worked on a lot of paintings were done uh, for the exploration of an Abe movie and I really wanted to focus or let's say Abe was a series it would be my hope that almost the first season takes place in Rupture Farms before he escapes that that's how deep I think this story inside Rupture Rupture Farms could go and keep on unfolding in an exciting way to the end of the season where it's like holy shit you know they take over they they split the farm in this you know in this epic kind of moment which would be one we haven't seen yet because it, you know let's say we could do it as like a netflix series or something like that it could be way more epic and the idea would be that the idea was was that he's deeply connected to animals and at the same time just just kind of had to live in a state of denial to exist because it, otherwise it would just would have shattered him. It just would have shattered his heart to see all these friends. And there's a painting that maybe we can share on a future thing, Dan, if you could give me a, on a future Discord talk. There's a painting that Ram, Raymond Swanland had done where Abe's, it, it shows him coming back with the tag of one of his friends that had been slaughtered. And then he comes back to his cell. And when he hangs it on the wall, it's kind of, if you remember the, the key keeper in the Matrix, the key maker, mm -hmm. well, it's kind of like that. And then you just see there's thousands of these tags on the walls that Abe has written a name on top of the number. You know, and it'd just be like, to me, just kind of devastating, you know, just heartbreaking. Breaking. And so he's just a figure that's kind of figuring out, I can only make, his plight was, I can, I can only make so much difference. At least I can bring these animals some comfort in times of need. And um, I feel really passionate about hoping to tell that story in greater detail someday. But uh, I know that veered a bit from what factory I'd like to work in. But it goes <laughs> to, like, the life in the factories is a story upon itself that we've barely been able to shine light on. Um, I'm sure everyone listening in will be uh, looking forward to that episode where we can you know, go a bit deeper in that. And okay. I think, you know, in terms of special guests, we're hoping to get uh, Raymond to come on. And, uh, you know, maybe the two of you can talk about that in much more detail, which will be amazing.